What's up everybody? Welcome back to NWI RC. Today's video, I'm gonna show you a walk around of the modifications I've done to this Horizon Harvey tugboat. Yes, it is my rescue boat, but it's also my camera boat. I figured out that to mount the camera on, the best way is to get in between the cannons. And you can see the mount that's down there. What I have it Velcro down there with some regular Velcro. Sticks really good and it fits in there pretty much perfect. The only thing I don't like is you can see this light right here is bent a little forward due to this mount. But anyways, you can see I'll link these in the description. I think I got them on Amazon. They're just little floaty devices for cell phones, cameras, and so on. All I did is I took two of them and I put it right where you see where you to tighten the clamp here. They go right there. And they're just pinched in there. And that way, if I ever, well if the camera was to ever break or fall off the mount or anything like that, well, my camera's gonna float. But then I'm thinking, wait a minute. What about the cabin? Because we all know the cabin just comes straight up. Okay, so what happens if I was to run into this boat or one of my friends run into it and just completely knocks this cabin completely out in the water. Well, I don't think these two little floaties is going to be able to handle all the weight to keep this part afloat. So what I did is I just took some simple styrofoam. I don't remember where I got this from, but it, I had it somewhere laying around. Just get yourself a knife, it cuts real easy. And I'll show you here. This backside, as you can see, so I just cut it to fit in there. And I can still hook up the water pump when I decide to get that. And uh, I Velcroed that in. It's not going anywhere. So for demonstration purposes, here in a minute, we're gonna go take this out. Uh oh, you guys gotta be very careful with this stuff. I did hit this boat with my uh, Sonic Wake V2. It was an accident, it wasn't very hard hit, but it was enough to damage this here. And that's what gave me the idea <clears throat> of making this float. So I have my sink full of water, and we're gonna go ahead here in a minute and show you guys how well this system works. But other than that, uh, I did enough. Everything here is pretty much stock. We pull this off. I run this G2, the Spectrum G2, 5000 milliamp. It's a 3S battery. It's a 50C output. Works really good. I did maintain the shaft, greasing the shaft, pulling everything apart. I will show you that in another video. Other than that, one of the main things is this adapter here. So as you can see, the boat comes factory with a e, uh, EC3 connector. Well, the Spectrum Smart Batteries come with the EC5 connectors. So I'll link this down below where I bought it. I could have made this, but I ended up purchasing it. Just got a little adapter. It's EC3 female to EC5 male. And they just slip in here as you saw. It just makes it easier. Other than that, that is everything I can really show you on this. So I will go meet you at the kitchen sink and show you how this works. All right, we are here at the kitchen sink. And as you can see, it's full of water. I went ahead and took this plug and I taped it. I mean, if it goes in the water, it's gonna get wet anyway. It might even rip your plug out. But here's like, you see I got my GoPro 10. You can put any GoPro you want on here. And uh, let's just see what, if it'll float. Okay, I should have been a little more careful because I didn't want to break my light tower there. So as you can see, she's floating just fine. Probably don't even need these, but these are the protection for the GoPro, just in case. You, know, you got a $500 camera, very expensive stuff here. So you want to protect it. So we're going to submerge it completely. Get all the bubbles out. So right now it's filling up with water. So it, and you see it just instantly pops back up. Let's go 
ahead and flip it the other way. And there you go. I mean, I think that's a great idea. It helps protect your investment. So what you guys think? Leave a comment down below if you've done something similar, such as installing foam in your uh, cabin and or these little floaty things. <clears throat> I can even still hook up the pump. I think I mentioned that earlier where I can still shoot water out of the cannons. So yeah, you easily see that. Everything's protected. And I can actually use the other half of the boat to push this in with me. All right guys, that's pretty much all I got for you. I just wanted to make a short video showing how to let your canopy float. If you're also using it as a camera boat, how to install a camera on it, at least a GoPro. That's how I did it, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know your thoughts. Thanks.